baseball pitches in for the war effort. Trading bats for bullets, Yankee star Joe DiMaggio promises to give those Nazis a jolt. Ace fireballer Bob Feller has traded Cleveland gray for navy blue. Baseball's biggest stars say, look out, Mr. Hitler, the Yanks are coming. Not to mention the Indians, Red Sox, and Tigers. And they won't come back till it's over. During World War II, many of baseball's greats were being drafted into the war. The fear that America's pastime was facing collapse prompted Philip Wrigley to establish the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. The league captured America's heart and soul with their passion, dedication, and extreme ability to play good baseball. The idea of women playing a man's sport was easily accepted by fans during wartime. About 180,000 fans came to the park to watch the women play during the league's inaugural season in 1943. The league peaked in 1948 with 10 teams and a total of 910,000 paid fans in attendance for the entire season. With the return of America's men, the league disbanded after 13 successful seasons, leaving us with some of history's best ball players, including Sophie Curris, who stole 201 bases in a single season more than any other man or woman in baseball history. Today, we welcome former players, their families, and friends to Comerica Park for their 2010 reunion. Their contribution to the game of baseball and to women's history is unprecedented and recognized here today. Now please direct your attention to the first and third baselines as we welcome former players of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League as they take the field. 